And then I will have you listen and we'll see how we'll be able to help this beautiful young lady. Hi, my darling. How are you? Hi, Miss Nancy. I'm not doing so well. But you will be fine. Sure, I believe so. Yes, I mean, sharing your story, giving your confession is the first effort at healing. Mm. So you will be good. Now sure. I'm ready. Can we have your confession? Miss Nancy, I am a married woman. Mm. But as I'm speaking, my marriage is at the verge of breaking. Mm. And I'm also at the verge of losing the only person I have in my life as my sister. Mm -hmm. I'm a married woman and I have three kids. Mm -hmm. All my life, I've had my sister as my family. We are orphans and okay. my sister has been the only one I have and she has, I have been the only one she has. Beautiful. And so my sister got married, my younger sister actually. You are the older one? Yes, please. Okay. My younger sister got married before I did. She got married to a very loving and caring husband. Oh. I've always had eye for this man, you know. But You've always had eye for, for my sister's your sister's husband. husband yes. Your little sister's husband. Yes, please. Okay. But I kept it away from my sister and I kept it to myself. They also have three children. Okay. And so five years later, I also got married. Mm. And over three years, I wasn't able to conceive. Mm. My husband and I tried everything medically. Mm -hmm. We've been to hospitals, to hospitals. I tried herbal medicines, everything possible. Yet, we weren't conceiving. So, mm -hmm. one of the doctors told me personally that the fault is for my husband. And okay. he would never be able to father a child due to an ailment he had, he had when he was a child. And so I wasn't able to break this news to my husband, so I kept it to myself. So one day I was there when a friend of my husband mm -hmm. called me that he wants to tell me something. I was like, okay. He told me my husband out of frustration has a child which they named the child yesterday. Okay. With a lady, I am even paying her school fees at the university level. She has a child for my husband. And he went to name this child. And he went to name this child without my knowledge, without telling me anything about it. Whoa. Whoa. And so I felt that my sister would disrespect me because after all, she got married before I did. Mm -hmm. And she has three kids. And I, on the other hand... I mean, do we earn respect by having children? Miss Nancy, I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. I wanted to put the shame off my family. I didn't want people to point fingers at my husband. Okay. Not knowing he, on the other hand, wasn't thinking about me, but himself. Mm -hmm. And so, out of desperation, I decided to do everything possible to be called a mother. Of course, every woman wants to be a mother. I mean, oh. these days, not every woman, right? Yeah, <laughs> but I was very desperate. Mm -hmm. I wanted to hear the cry of a baby. Oh. And so one day I was there when my sister called me that she was going on a vacation with her kids. And so she wanted me to help her take care of her husband in terms okay. of her food, cleaning, and everything the husband would need. In the house. In the house. And so I gladly accepted, not because I had intentions of seducing my sister's husband or doing mm. anything. We're just being a big sister, I naturally. I was just being a big sister. Oh. So I accepted. And as I was doing these duties for my sister, one thing led to another, and we had sex. So I, I got pregnant and I gave birth to twins. As you were helping your sister's husband, yes. going there to give him food, or were you going there to cook for him? Or no, you would I cook cooked from your house my, and then yes. you take it there? My husband was away, so I cook from the house and take it to him. I would mm -hmm. go and clean for him and everything. So one thing led to the other, and I. Got I mean, what thing led to what? Miss Nancy, I, let me say. Who made the first move? I, well, I did because. I had an eye for him, so I, I, I took that opportunity to say, let me have my way with him since my sister isn't around. Mm. So I got you pregnant. made the effort? Yeah. And he complimented it? Yeah. So I got pregnant and I gave birth to twins. Mm -hmm. And I didn't tell my sister's husband that the kids are his. He congratulated me, he was so happy for me, mm -hmm. not knowing the they child. They were his. Yes. So on another occasion, I went there when I was ovulating. So 
It was the one time so when we had the sex, the next month I was pregnant. Okay. And so now that's how come you have those three kids? Yes. So one shot gave you two? Yeah. Uh, yeah dear. Three of them, he knew nothing about it that they are his. The gentleman in question doesn't yes. know he served your twins he and the other child. He doesn't know. And I, I also kept it for me because I didn't want him claiming responsibility for the child. Of course, for you the are children. you're yes. a married woman. And so my husband too thinks the children are his. So he was mm. very happy. He would be. And I also kept it for my husband that I pretended as though I don't know he also has a child mm -hmm. with the lady I am sponsoring her education. Mm -hmm. So, for some reason, my husband's uh, office demanded for a DNA test. I knew my husband would be traveling anytime soon, but I didn't know it would be this urgent. Mm -hmm. So, they needed a DNA test to confirm that the kids are really his. Hmm. So, my husband did the DNA without telling me anything about it. Okay. One day, I was there when my husband approached me angrily, asking me who the father of our children and I was like what is he talking about I don't know what he's talking about I pretended as though of course. I don't know what he's talking about meanwhile I knew exactly what my husband was talking about so I also didn't want him to know even though I was angry I kept my cool I didn't because want him to you know. wanted not yes. to hurt him right yeah. I didn't want him to know that he has a child supposed child with someone else and mm -hmm. even that child isn't his so mm, anytime mm. he brings this is the complication yeah. you had three children supposedly with yes. your husband yes. who are not his he has one child out of wedlock who is also not his yeah so anytime he brings this up i just ignore him and then mm. i'll leave the house mm. for some time and then go lodge myself in a hotel and then come back when everything is okay this man's my concern now is my sister. She's the only one I have. If my sister gets to know that I've been enjoying her sweet husband with her, she'll be broken. I'll lose but, her. I mean, uh, you, you still are in a relationship with this man? No, no. It's I've, just the two times that yes, you, you did yes. it and then you had the children. Yeah. So there's not been any relationship whatsoever. Not at all. So it was just like two shots and it, 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 it served its purpose yeah awesome yeah. but right now your husband wants to know who the father of your children are sure and if you say it's your sister's husband that's going to kill your my sister. sister will definitely get to know that her husband is the father of my kids which i don't want that because it will tear us apart i'll lose my sister completely this is quite a confession now if complicated was a man 